I really didn't have the time to record a actual long video. So I thought, hey, let's take off the heavy mask and let me talk to you with the thinnest layer of mask I have. Honestly, Jekko and I, you have the... Oh, excuse me. You have what it takes to get the thing done. Your show... Excuse me. You helped inspire me to become what I am now, the little-known YouTuber, Mr. Victor Hate. But, you know, things such as humor and all that, that's something that you don't really need to plan out. It's something that just comes to you. Most of these big YouTubers plan weeks in advance or have people write their own stuff nowadays. You know, simple people like us, we only have, you know, we have these, our masks on. You know, this is who we are. We are not, you know, some guy named David, some guy named Larry, George, Mike. We are us. We are our characters. That's all we can be. While other people have emotions to do, we have these. We, we're, we're faceless. That's one of the reasons why people honestly don't watch us. We are faceless people in a world full of you know, humor, reaction videos, things that are so out of the whack stupid that people will watch them over someone like us. You know, that's that's the thing about YouTube nowadays. It used to be a place where people all had a fair chance at something. You know, um... Back whenever you first started, if you would have kept the way you were going, you could have been up there, man. People would be giving you cash and shit for your videos. I think your honest in your reviews of wrestling and your humor is freaking hilarious. Honestly, if you'd keep up the humor, like say, you know, oh, you like a wonton soup, yes, a wonton soup, yes. That shit it makes me laugh, and it takes. Only a few things. <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is, my sense of humor, it takes a while to make me laugh. And every time I watch a video, I usually end up laughing. Like the uh, duty pie. That thing made me laugh my ass off. You know, I just think that it's a shame that, for one, you need more views, man. You. You need more subscribers, you need a lot more things, man. Because, it, honestly, in my own opinion, I think you should be up there. You should be high up there on the level. You, along with the mastermind, you both are very hilarious. And it's a shame that you both are not credited more for your work. You know, it's. It's pretty sad now because YouTube has screwed over YouTubers even more. So we have to rely on, you know, maybe spammy channels. As you know, as for me, I go on Omegle and I do some little funny stuff, and I you leave them a lead to my channel. Sometimes they subscribe, sometimes they don't. You know, and. Uh, you know, it kind of upsets me now that the only video I have, really, that has enough views is that PewDiePie accused of rape thing. And that's just me because I was being nice. I was trying to, you know, help him out. I think it's a shame that people would accuse someone of rape. But, besides that, all my other videos I've worked hard on get barely any recognition for the work that I've done. But I'm okay with that. People view what I have done, and I'm okay with that. You know? We all have to realize, sooner or later, these YouTubers are going to be gone. These big ones, they're going to die out, you know? And people have... You know, some people can't help but feel that they have to live through the character. Like Smosh and all that. They want to fantasize. They want to pervert the idea of living their lives. That's one reason why they have so many 
you know, people watching them. Because people want to live their life. They want to... They think that they can just... Play video games. And do a little commentary. And boom. They're celebrities. Or whatever the fuck YouTube people call themselves. Celebrities. Cast or vloggers. I don't know. You know, it takes thought. It takes skill. And it takes... A lot of hard work. I mean, someone like me, I doubt I'll ever get popular. I do what I do because I love it. This is what I do for fun. But that's the thing now. YouTube's not about fun anymore. It's all about business. Because people, people actually rely on YouTube to, you know, have paychecks. If you like PewDiePie, I'm not saying that he doesn't roll for the money, people. I'm saying that, you know, without YouTube, what would he be doing? He'd be working. And that means no time for you guys. What I'm trying to say is, like... Jack and I keep up the work you're doing, and in high time, people will notice you. Just, you know, you're one of those rare YouTubers that will one day be noticed. It's just for right now, people have their heads up their ass on stuff that's stupid, and it's a real shame. You know, my only thing I would suggest really is, you know, maybe if you want to just have more fun, like the whole Super Bowl, the whole Sad Panda thing. Ah, uh, he just stood there and s looked like a sad panda. That was genius. I laughed so fucking hard on that. I mean, I was crying. That's how funny it was to me. You know? Freaking mask. That's why I don't wear this one. You know? Just keep up the work, man. You're doing good. Yes. Yes, that's much better. Sorry. But yeah. Just keep doing what you're doing, man. And things will look up for you. Good luck. <laughs>